Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. So today I got a Redmi Note 10, and I have installed the Pixel operating system, the official Android 14 ROM on Redmi Note 10. This is the fingerprint scanner. Yes, fingerprint scanner is perfectly working. ROM is very good absolutely perfectly running on my mobile phone on redmi note 10 especially i'm so impressed from the battery battery life is so good with the rom on my mobile phone i am using this rom since from many days to check the rom first then i will bring the video so the things are working absolutely good even if you are installing any application all the application running and working perfectly the safety net is passed by default in this ROM. Even the device is certified by default in this ROM. So we are having the AOSP camera with the ROM. This is the camera application that pre-installed in the ROM. So I have installed the Google Gallery application from the Play Store. This ROM is providing photos as a gallery. If you want to use the photos, you can use it. Otherwise, you can download the gallery application from the Play Store and in, you can install and using it. I like this gallery application on the AOSP ROM uh, or from Google. These are the clicks that taken by me on this ROM. Well, if you ask me that, how the ROM is working, I would like to suggest if you like to have Android 14, the official customized ROM, then I would say must go for it. Outgoing calls and incoming calls perfectly working and even we are having a record option over here. But there is an announcement whenever you want to record a call. Application that I have installed from the Google Play Store absolutely working and uh, look at the speed of the ROM. So there are many users usually ask me about the VOLTE. Yes, this ROM is having an option of VOLTE. This is the notification bar. There is a small bug in this ROM and that is currently the built-in wallpaper application is uh, actually 50% uh, working and 50% not. For example, if you are uh, selecting the wallpaper from the, uh, these, these provided wallpapers, then it will get changed. But if you want to go for more wallpapers and if I want to select this one, it will get downloaded and there is no option to select the wallpaper. There is no option to select the wallpaper i cannot see so this is the error that we are getting from the built-in wallpaper so i have downloaded the z e d g e z application which also providing very good wallpapers so if you like to have the android 14 pixel operating system you can install the zedge application to install the wallpapers currently you can see that i have already installed a wallpaper with the help of zedge application this is the setting screen of my mobile phone about the languages you can install or add language the one you like to have on this ROM. And we are getting an option of application languages. If you want any particular application in your language, you can select from here. This was all about the ROM that uh, how it is performing on Redmi Note 10. Now, I would like to tell you or to inform you that if you want to install this uh, ROM on your Redmi Note 10, then you must unlock the bootloader first. I will provide tutorial video link in my video description. You can watch that video. Before going ahead, I would like to request that uh, if you like the video or if you are getting helped by these videos, then do not forget to subscribe my channel. Click or tap the bell icon. Click or tap the select all. Thank you so much. So starting the video of installation pixel operating system ROM Android 14 official on the Redmi Note 10. So this is my downloaded folder where I have downloaded all the requires files. Links are provided in my video description. You can just make a new folder and download these files. We need boot sunny the boot image file firmware file of 14.0.3 android version 12 and pixel operating system the invite 14 the platform tools and the vendor boot 
for Mojito and Sunny. Extract the plate farm tools after downloading it and then copy the boot Sunny file, the firmware file, the Pixel Sunny operating system file, Pixel operating system, and the vendor boot the image file from here. And then open the extracted folder of plate farm tools, paste all the files over here. Rename the boot sunny file from just click on it, then press F2 and erase the file. Just type B double O T and press enter. Come to the firmware file, uh, select the file, press F2, then erase the file and just type F W, press enter. Come now down to the operating system, the Pixel OS, uh, press F2 erase then type rom enter key and come to the vendor boot sunny file press f2 and this time erase just leave the file name with vendor underscore p double o t dot i m g press enter key now the right click on cmd.exe then left click on run as administrator click yes on next window the black color command window will get open now coming back towards my mobile phone whatever rom you have on your redmi note 10 doesn't matter but we we have to do few things before installing the rom first of all you need to save all your data of your internal storage on your computer's on computer hard drive because data will get formatted and must charge the mobile phone battery to maximum and as i mentioned before that you need to unlock the bootloader otherwise the rom will never install if you are having a lock bootloader i will go to my mobile phone settings then i will go to security and privacy and I will select device unlock. Then I will select screen lock. And after unlocking it, I will select swipe as a lock screen because I need to disable the lock screen to get avoid any disturbance after flashing the recovery. And then I will go to password and accounts and I will remove all the account that I was logging in and I was using it. If you have done all these things, you can simply press the power button, then press or tap the restart button and press and hold the volume down key to let the set boot into fast boot mode. When you see the fast boot screen, release the volume down key. Finally, we got the fast boot screen. I have released the volume down key. Now we need a data cable. Check the other side of this cable must be connected with computer. And one more thing, must use a good quality of data cable. Do not use a bad quality or cheapest quality of data cable for copying the data or flashing the ROM. And must check your computer USB port also. It must be working perfectly. Connect the cable with the mobile phone after booting the mobile phone into fast boot. Coming back towards the computer screen. Now here I would like to inform a very important thing that must use a pixel recovery which are provided with the rom do not try to flash this rom with any other recovery because you may get an error flashing it with any other recovery now the first step is to install the vendor boot image command window we have to type a command that is fast boot space devices to check the set is connected properly with the computer yes these numbers and fast boot means that mobile phone is properly connected and we we are having all the drivers installed on the computer now uh, the installing the vendor image first we need to install the vendor boot image for that type the command fast boot space flash space v e n d o r underscore boot space v e n d o r underscore boot dot i m g check the file and then press enter key the 
file will getting installed yes it is done you can see okay okay now it is time to flash the boot image file for that type fast boot space flash space boot space boot dot img check the spellings are okay then press enter key yes it is happening and it is done you can see okay okay now we have to boot the mobile phone into pixel recovery for that type the command fast boot space reboot space recovery and then press enter key the mobile phone will start booting into pixel recovery you can see that pixel recovery screen appears on the mobile phone now for here we have to do first thing first and that is tap factory reset then tap format data factory reset and format data turn again tap format data again just make sure that all things done perfectly now you can go back to the main screen then tap apply update and tap apply from adb so the mobile phone is booted into adb mode coming back towards the computer screen now this time we are required to flash the rom first for that first command adb space devices to check the device is booted and is connected properly with the computer yes you can see numbers and the set is booted into site load mode right now this time we have to we, we will flash the rom file for that type the command adb space site load space rom dot z i p and press enter key you will see on your mobile phone that verifying update package and the flushing is started at the same time the file is transferring to the mobile phone and at the same time the rom also getting installed on the mobile phone now just wait let the flushing complete then i will continue while uh, installing the rom the window will appear on your uh, mobile phone screen asking etc uh, etc et so you have to tap the yes over here the mobile phone will reboot into recovery once again so finally the rom got installed perfectly if you can see that uh, serving 47 percent do not get confused if you read this field to read command no error right now it is time to install the uh, from your file first tap the a apply update on the recovery screen then tap apply from adb so the mobile phone boot it once again into adb mode and on the command window type the command adb space side load space fwz dot zip then press enter key and uh, signature verification field install anyway tap yes the rom will be transferring to the mobile phone and at the same time it is installing it also on the mobile phone done and if you if you see install completed with the status zero which means that rom got installed perfectly disconnect the cable from the mobile phone we are done from the computer reboot system now now wait for it the mobile phone will start booting to pixel operating system android 14 very soon finally the rom got booted now you can uh, complete the setup screen so the rom got installed very very perfectly now you can simply connect your mobile phone with the internet log in your uh, gmail account and start using the android 14 rom on redmi note 10 this is the official android 14 the pixel operating system for the redmi note 10 do not forget to like the video and if you are if you are having any hesitation do not hesitate to ask me on comment section thank you and take a good care of yourself we'll see you in my next video until then goodbye